Hello and welcome to another edition of God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad. I am the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I thank you for joining me today. We are going to be looking at prayer this week, and I got this idea of prayer because I'm thinking of someone very special in my life today, and that is my dad, Paul Conrad. My dad, who passed away in 2010, would have turned 89 today. And in his honor, in his memory, I am going to be sharing with you some thoughts on prayer and thoughts that my dad bestowed upon me and things that I've kept in my heart and also want to help you with your prayer life. So I appreciate you joining me this week for a special look at prayer. We're going to look at our first reading of the week, and it comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Prayer played a very important part in my dad's spiritual life. And the number one lesson that he taught me was that prayer is a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week conversation with God, that there's not a moment that we are going godless, if you will, that we are without God, that God is always with us. And so the way that my dad reminded himself of that was to say that it's an all-day conversation with him. And there are times in my life that that really hits home to me. And especially on this day that I remember him and remember his words and his ministry and his love and as a, uh, his son and to see the people that who still remember his work, the one thing that they can all say is that my dad was really good at prayer. Not always in a sense that he knew how to pray, but he knew why to pray. He knew why prayer was so important. And so I want you to think about today why prayer is important to you. Why does prayer matter in your spiritual life? Do you see it as a conversation with God? Do you see it as a way to get things off your chest or get something off your mind? I know that many of my friends have prayer journals and they just write down thoughts and words that they share with God. And to them, it's a way of connecting with God. It's like making that phone call with God or that text message to God or that for now the Instagram or the face chat or Zoom chat with God, but just making that connection and knowing that you never have to leave the meeting or you ever have to hang up. That reminds me, I don't know if this is something that you have experienced, but with text messaging, the biggest difference between a phone call and a text message is that with a phone call, you can say goodbye and that's the end. But with a text message, it can go on forever. You never know what, is the ending when you're in a text conversation with someone. So in a way, you can think of prayer as a text conversation. It's always open. That text box is always open for you to talk to God and share everything that's in your heart and your mind with God. So I want you to think about why prayer matters to you. And let me give you an example. It was a couple of weeks ago, and at nighttime, we had my son, Paul, my daughter, Maddie and my wife, Kristen, we were all together doing our bedtime prayer. And Paul asked an important question. Why do we pray? Now, the reason he was saying that is because he wanted to get back to playing his game and reading his book. But he was asking, why do we pray? And I took a moment and I thought about it. And then I said, Paul, I get the chance in prayer to talk to the one who brought you into my life. And that actually made sense. It's a chance to share a moment with the one who created you and the one who has blessed you with the people around you. So I hope that's a good thought and I hope you'll hold that in your heart today. And let us conclude with a prayer. Good and gracious God, you are always with us. This week, as we focus on prayer, remind us that you are always there with us to talk to us, to listen to us, and that we can carry you with us, especially during times of a pandemic, knowing that you are a constant companion 
a constant source of love and grace and renewal. Be with us, Lord, and continue to open up ways that we can talk to you. And we appreciate you, Lord, and we love you. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow for another edition of God's Minute.